morning people bari asubuhi watu may you be blessed today in the name of jesus bari kiwe leo katika jina la yesu the hand of god will be upon you today mkono wa mungu utakuwa juu yako leo and what has been heavy upon your shoulders na kile ambacho kimekuwa kizito mapigani mwako will be removed kitaondolewa god will give you solution to your problems mungu atakupatia solution kwa matatizo yako answers to your prayers majibu kwa maombi yako whatever that has been bothering you chochote ambacho kimekuwa kikusumbua trust that god is going to give you a solution today tumai ya kwamba mungu anaenda kupatia solution leo i want you to prepare the anointing oil the in the house taka utayarishe mafuta utakaswa hapo kwa nyumba yako also prepare water pia tayarisha maji you who want to be baptized today rambo ungependa kubatizwa leo we are going to bless this water tabarika ya maji and will be poured upon your head nitamwagiloje kichwa chako either by your relative or you can do it yourself iwe ni na jamaa yako ama unaweza kujifanyia let us enter the presence of god now tuingie ndani ya uwepo wa mungu sasa close your eyes please Our Lord and our God in the name of Jesus Christ we come before you in humbleness knowing that my God our lives are ever before you nothing happens under the sun without being noticed by you my God you know everything about our lives we cannot hide from you We cannot hide our thoughts and our feelings because you created them all. There is nothing that you cannot discover. Therefore we open our hearts to you my God this morning and we ask you to take over. Lord I pray for those who are grieving this morning because they lost their loved ones. or they just buried their loved ones recently and they are not healed yet i pray my god for those who are facing a crisis there is no food to eat in the house this person has kids they cry day by day they have needs and he has no money to support them sometimes he looks at his kids with a sorrowful heart and tears in his eyes there are days that this man goes to sleep praying not to wake up the following day he wishes to vanish to die in his sleep because he has no strength to face his problems anymore i pray my god that you stretch your hands upon this person and bring a solution to this problem deliver them from the hands of the evil one today my god let there be a beginning of a new life of a new era let this person breathe a new air take them out of this cage they have been in for many years the cage of suffering and sorrows the cage of depression and sadness oh my god transform their lives manifest your power today in the life of this person heal their sicknesses my god this person who's been in and out of the hospital at this moment he cannot concentrate on this service because he's in pain my god may you touch him and take this pain away my god i pray for this person who is a victim of witchcraft evil spirits that are tormenting him day by day this person who is overwhelmed with fear he's so afraid that he cannot even move he feels cornered he hears voices calling his name he hears footsteps when he walks in the street following him He feels as if he's going mad. When he goes to bed, he has a bad dream, a nightmare. This person is attacked by demons. Oh my God, send your fire and burn and destroy the works of the devil and deliver this person in the name of Jesus. Lord my God, you know what your people are going through right now. You know their shame, their suffering. 
their misery, their tears, they cry every day. I pray this morning, my God, that you deliver them. You set them free. Transform their lives. Restore their families in the name of Jesus Christ. Talk to God now, my friends. Say your prayers before God. Tell God you are tired of suffering. You are tired of living in shame. You don't want to continue like this anymore. You want to see a change in your life. You want to be delivered from this problem. You want to be healed of this sickness. Tell him, Lord, I want to have peace. I want to be free. I put my life in your hands today. In the name of Jesus. Talk to God now. Jesus, lift up your hands now, please. My Lord, anoint their hands with the power of your Holy Spirit. When they lay their hands on their heads, my Lord, destroy every evil spirit, every curse, every work of the devil, and set them free in Jesus' name. Please, my friends, place your hands now on top of your head. Both your hands on top of your head. In the name of Jesus, I command every evil spirit, every work of the devil, every black magic, voodoo, witchcraft, whatever evil that has befallen this person or their families, I break your power right now. I destroy your power, Satan, in the name of Jesus Christ. I command all the evil spirits in this person's life, in this family, in the name of Jesus, get out! Live their lives and do not come back again in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Say with me, in the name of Jesus all evil spirits, all the works of the devil in my life and in my family. Say, I command you in the name of Jesus. Remove your hands and say, get out of my life. Talk a shetani. And do not come back again in Jesus' name. Take a deep breath now. Lift up your hands to God. Receive your deliverance. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Receive your restoration. The Lord Jesus is operating in your family right now. In your life. Be healed. Be delivered. Receive peace in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise be to God. You are blessed now. You are healed. God is with you. Do not be afraid. You are free. The burden that was upon your shoulders has been removed now. Trust in God. You can move your body, stamp your feet, bend over, do what you could not do because God is with you now. In the name of Jesus. You are so faithful, so faithful. 
so faithful. You are so faithful, so faithful. Now. Sasa. Sasa chukua chupa yako ya maji. now take your bottle of water. We are going to bless the water. Kubariki ayo maji. As matibabu takatifu. Iwe only treatment. Lift this water up, please. No maji oju. Close your eyes. Funga macho. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your presence in this place today. And we ask you to consecrate and bless this water. As simple and natural as it is, may you anoint it to become a holy and blessed water. Those who are going to drink from this water, my God, heal their sicknesses. Reconstruct their internal organs. Give life to the organs that are dead, that are not working. If this person has a kidney failure, cardiac failure, lung infection, bladder infection, a problem in the liver, hepatitis, whatever problem there is, when they drink from this water, let it be like a medicine from heaven, my God. Make them whole. Restore their lives in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Now, you can open your water. You can sip it a bit. Put it aside, please. Lift up your hands to God. Close your eyes. Now receive life. I speak life to your body. I speak life to your internal organs. The Lord Jesus Christ is touching you as you drank this water. Receive strength. Be revived in the name of Jesus. The Lord Jesus, the doctor of the doctors, reverses whatever you were told by the doctors. You were told that you were going to die. But he gives you life. He says you shall live. Be blessed now. When you take this water to your relative who is in the hospital, the same will happen to them. They will be healed in the name of Jesus. For his name's sake, he blesses you. Say amen. Praise God. Amen. Glory be to God. Have a seat, please. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray now for those who are in the campaign of Israel. We are going to make a cry out here on the altar. On your behalf. Today, we are bringing our prayer requests to the altar. And I'm sure that God is going to do great things in your life. God is going to change your life. He's going to set you free. 
But the campaign of Israel Lakini campaign Israel is not only today. Sio leo peke yake. It started from the beginning of the year, excuse me, of the month of July. Ilianza kwa kuanzia mwanzo wa mwezi wa July and it will end in the last day of July. Na itaisha katika siku ya mwisho ya mwezi huu. Very first July. Tarehe 31 July. What I want to give to you is. Nachotaka kupatia ni what I want to tell you today is. Nachotaka kuambia leo ni stop excluding yourself. Acha kujitoa from what God has already included you. Kwa kile ambacho Mungu tayari amekuhusisha. God has included you in his plan already. Mungu tayari amekuhusisha katika mipango yake. And there are many people who literally exclude themselves. Na kuna watu wengi ambao wanajitoa wao wenyewe. They say it is not for me. Wanasema sio yangu. It is too good for me. Ni nzuri sana iwe yangu. It is too difficult for me. Ni ngumu sana iwe yangu. It is impossible. Haiwezekani. I don't think I can make it. Sifikirini naweza. God has already included you in that plan. Mungu tayari ameshakuhusisha katika hiyo mpango. But you are busy excluding yourself. Lakini umeshughulika unajiondoa. This is what Gideon did. Hivi ndio Gideon alifanya. Oh, he nearly did. Ama karibu afanye. Let us read here. Some hapo. In the book of Judges. Kitabu cha Waamuzi. Chapter 6. Mlango wa 6. Open the book of Judges chapter 6. Waamuzi mlango wa 6. I want to read with you. Tutasoma nani? Sing a song as they open the Bible, please. Lord God Almighty. Lord, you reign forever. Lord, God Almighty, Lord, you reign forever. You reign. Judges 6 from verse 14. Then the Lord turned to him and said, Go in this might of yours, and you shall save Israel from the hand of the Midianites. Have I not sent you? So he said to him, O oh my Lord, how can I save Israel? Indeed, my clan is the weakest in Manasseh, and I am the least in my father's house. And the Lord said to him, Surely I will be with you, and you shall defeat the Midianites as one man. Now look at this. God was saying to Gideon, I am the one sending you. I've been looking for this. For the opportunity to avenge my people from their enemies. But there was no one to do it. Everyone were in the cave. The families were hiding in caves. Now that I have found you. A man who is revolted. A man who recognizes that God is powerful. He did wonders in the past. And he believes that they can be done even today. You are actually the man I've been looking for. Now that I have found you, Gideon, go in this strength. I am sending you. And there came Gideon. How can I do it? I am the least. I am the smallest one. Listen. 
sikia if god believes in you kama mungu anakuaminia why do you doubt yourself mbona unajitilia shaka your creator knows the potential you have mumbaji wako anajua uwezo ulionao he knows what you are capable of doing anajua kile ambacho unaweza kufanya what you need to do is to trust in him unachohitaji kufanya ni kumtumainia did you know je wajua that the pride of the manufacturer ile ile majivuno ya mtu ambaye anatengeneza bidhaa is in the success of his product ni kwa mafanikio ya bidhaa yake did you know that je wajua hiyo whenever you buy a, a, a good product like a, a computer or a tablet or iphone kila mara unaponunua bidhaa nzuri kama tarakilishi ama simu or even a car ama gari from a reputable car dealership kwa duka nzuri ambayo iko na hadhi they will tell you atakwambia this product has a warranty bidhaa hii imetunzwa of 2 years iko na bima ya miaka 2 or 5 years ya miaka 5 depending inategemea and they will tell you na watakwambia if it does not deliver what we promised kama itafanya ile kazi ambayo tumeahidi itafanya within this period kwa hii wakati you can bring it back waweza irejesha and we will replace it with a new one na tutaibadilisha na mpya do you know why they say that je wajua kwa nini wanafanya wanasema hivyo not because they love you sio kwa sababu wanakupenda not because they care about you sio kwa sababu wanakujali but they care about their name kwa sababu wanajali jina lao if this product underperforms kama hii bidhaa itafanya kazi vyema it is going to spoil their name karibu jina yao therefore they make sure that it performs well to protect their name kwa hiyo wanahakikisha kwamba inafanya kazi vizuri ili watunze jina lao god is your manufacturer mungu ndiye aliyekutengeneza he is your creator yeye ndiye muumbaji wako and he cares about his name na anajali kuhusu jina lake your shame will spoil his name aibu yako itaharibu jina lake that is why he wants you to succeed ndio kwa maana anataka ufanikiwe he wants you to be healed anataka upone he wants you to have a happy family anataka uwe na familia yenye furaha he wants you to be well anataka uwe sawa for his name's sake kwa ajili ya jina lake so that his name may be revealed and glorified ile jina lake watu waamche na watukuze jina lake so it is not god's pleasure to see you suffering kwa hiyo si mapendeleo ya Mungu kuwa na kuteseka it is the devil ni shetani that is why when he found gideon ndio kwa maana Mungu alipopata gideon it's like god said amen ndio kana kwamba Mungu alisema amen now my name will be restored sasa jina langu litarejeshwa go in this might of yours gideon enda na ukuu wako gideon i am sending you ninakutuma and even when he doubted himself hata wakati alipojitilia shaka how can i do it nitaifanya vipi i am the last one mimi ndio wa mwisho you see instead of god becoming angry ana badala ya Mungu akasirike he said to him Mungu alimwambia surely i will be with you hakika nitakuwa nao and you will destroy them as one man na utawaangamiza kama mtu mmoja in other words kwa maneno mengine i will not do it for you sitakufanyia you must do it yourself lazima uifanye wewe mwenyewe you must make this sacrifice fanya hii dhabiu you must take up this challenge chukua hii changamoto but do not worry lakini usiwe na wasiwasi because i god will be with you kwa maana mimi mungu nitakuwa nawe and this 135000 soldiers nao na jeshi 135000 you will destroy as if they were one man utawangamiza kana kwamba tu ni mtu mmoja so my friend kwa hiyo rafiki yangu listen to me nisikie it doesn't matter how big your problem is haijali shida yako ni kubwa kiasi gani it doesn't matter the magnitude of your problem haijali shida kiasi cha shida of your situation hali yako once god is with you mwanzo mungu yuko nawe you will destroy these problems as if they were one utaangamiza hizi matatizo kana kwamba tu ni mmoja you were facing a serious problem in your marriage jambo unapitia shida ngumu sana kwa ndoa yako you will find yourself in a dark dungeon unajipata kwenye shimo yenye kiza you've put yourself in something that you cannot take yourself out umejiweka kwa jambo ambalo huwezi jiondoa you are in a situation that is regarded as a lost case uko katika hali ambayo inachukuliwa kana kwamba imepotea kabisa as an impossible case hali isiyowezekana to tell the truth you don't know what to do sema ukweli au jui la kufanya you need a miracle waitaji muujiza god will be with you mungu atakuwa nawe and you will destroy this problem as if it was one na utaangamiza shida ika na kwamba ni moja but you have to trust in god lakini lazima utumainie mungu you have to come to the altar unafaa ukuje kwa madhabahu sacrifice to god tole mungu dhabiu believe in his power amini uwezo wake and he will change your situation na tabadilisha hali yako i want to make a prayer now 
sasa. For you who are presenting your sacrifice today. Kwa wewe ambao unawasilisha dhabihu yako leo. You are there in your house. Kwa hapo kwa nyumba yako. And after the service you are going to come to the altar. Baada ya ibada utakuja kwa madhabahu. To place your envelope, your sacrifice, your prayer request. Kuweka basha yako, dhabihu lako, ombi lako. Or you are going to use the online banking. Ama utatumia banki kupitia mtandao. The Mpesa. Nambari ya Mpesa. The pay bill. Nambari ya malipo Mpesa. But you are going to present your sacrifice to God today. Lakini utamuasilishia mungu the bill lako leo. You are going to email your prayer request. Utuma ombi lako kama baru wa pepe. It doesn't matter. Aijalishi. Let us pray together now. Tuombe pa moja sasa. Let us call upon God. Tumuite mungu. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Please stand up where you are. Tufadhali sumama mali ulifo. Prepare. Prepare for prayer. Close your eyes, please. Close your eyes. Lift up your hands. My Lord and my God, in the name of your Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, I lift up a prayer, a cry out to you. For you know what your people are going through, my God, this moment. There are people who wrote their prayer requests already in tears, my Lord. Because their situation has reached the limit. They have reached a point where they cannot take what they are going through anymore. Enough is enough. Oh Lord, my God. God of Abraham. God of Isaac. God of Israel. You have power to take away the misery of this person as you did in Israel in the time of Gideon, my Lord. This person has been living in a cave as the Israelites did in the time of the Midianites. They have found themselves trapped in a situation. A marriage that does not work out. A health situation that seems to be impossible. A financial life that is in the hands of the devil. This person's life has been a life of tears. Day in, day out. They go to bed in tears and wake up in tears. They have no happiness. They have no peace in their lives, my God. They need a miracle. This person to so many places, my God. They have made sacrifices on wrong altars. They have been advised by friends and acquaintances to make forms of sacrifices and rituals that came back to bite them. They are tired, my Lord. This person's journey has been too long and bumpy. They are tired. They feel that they have no strength anymore to fight. They don't know what to do. This person, my God, who has a rope under the bed because he just lacks courage to hang himself and die. He wants to die. He has not taken his life yet because he didn't have courage. But he wants to do it because he cannot take so much humiliation, so much shame and disgrace anymore, so much pain anymore. Oh my God, manifest your power today and change the situation of this person, my God. Lord, my God, only you know what will happen to this person if nothing changes today. Therefore, I ask you, my Lord, to stretch out your hands upon these people and change their situation. Change their lives, my God. Some of them wrote in their prayer requests, which I have not read because I have not received, that they are HIV positive. They are dying. They are leaving their children if a miracle does not happen. Some of them are on stage four of cancer. Prostate cancer, breast cancer, leukemia, pancreatic cancer, whatever it is, my God. They are dying. Every time they look at their children, they cry because they know that they are about to leave them anytime. Oh my God, I pray for a miracle. Let a miracle happen right now in this person's life, my God. May you touch them with your mighty hand and heal them right now. Wherever they are listening to this prayer, may you touch them, my God. Perform a miracle in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This person, my Lord, this woman who was told by her husband 
The words still resonate in her mind. I want a divorce. I want out of this marriage. It seems like a nightmare. She can't forget these words. She can't sleep at night, my God. She dreams about this. She can't bear the thought of coming out of her marriage for which she worked hard many, many years. Now there is a new woman in her husband's life and he wants her out. Oh God of Israel, the Bible says righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Therefore, my Lord, make justice for this woman. A miracle must happen. Touch the heart of this man, my God, to love his family again. Rebuke the demons that invaded this family. Rebuke the evil spirit, the spirit of divorce and separation in the name of Jesus and restore this marriage, my Lord, I pray. From the altar, I bless this house in the name of Jesus. My friends, Talk to God now. Say your prayers. It is you and God. Go ahead. Call upon Him. Ask God to remember you now. To change your situation. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pray to God right now. Pray to God right now. Ambaye ina mwelekeo Aina maendeleo yote Maisha ya masono neko Maisha ya ibu Maisha kudhara uliwa Maisha kukanyagiliwa Lakini kuanzia leo Wanapoe kuinulia kilio chao Wanapoe kuja kueka thabi uzao kwenye madhabao Mungu wangu achilia moto wako Kutoka jumbi nguni Ukapare kubarilisha maisha yao Ukapare kubarilisha historia yao Kuanzia leo Iwe siku ya mwisho Ya historia ile akale Historia ya ufukara Historia Historia ya magonjwa, zika pare kushindwa Na historia mpia ya ushinde Historia mpia ya mafanikia Historia mpia ya baraka Historia amba mungu wangu Itafanya jina lako Lijulikane katika familia yao Katika nyumba yao Katika majirani yao Wale wote wale watharao Watanza kuwaona na waseme ya kika Mungu wa mtu uyu yuko hai Katika jina la Isu Christo Yes my Lord in the name of the Lord Jesus, we give you praise. We believe, my God, that you have answered your people's prayers. You have blessed them. Receive your blessing now. In the name of Jesus, I bless you. May the Lord honor your faith. May he send you help from his sanctuary. From the altar, may you receive your answer. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Son. In the name of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Amen. Now you are blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ. After the service, you can go to the nearest branch of the universal church. Go to the altar. Present your sacrifice. Present your tithes. Present your offering. If you can't, so use our online details. Jot them down. Take a screenshot and they will come in handy. The campaign of Israel is up to the 31st of July. We are going to have the envelopes on the altar. You can come even tomorrow to take yours. Or today in the afternoon. Amen. Praise be to God. Lord, you reign forever. Have a seat, please. Have a seat, please. Lord, God Almighty, Lord, you reign forever. Lord,
This Tuesday, we are going to reopen the church with all the measures put in place by the government. We have on the floor the stickers of the social distance. We have at the entrance the sanitizing booth. We are going to have two stations to wash the hands with soap. The temperature will be checked at the door. Our members who are above 58 years old, please, you will have to continue watching online. For now. I know that is not easy. We have many members who are of age. But let us obey the measures put in place by the government. And those who are below the age of 13 years also remain at home. For now, there will be no Sunday school. So do not bring your children unless they are above 13 years old. We are going to have all our services. Seven in the morning. Ten in the morning. One p.m. Three p.m. And six p.m. Starting from Tuesday the 14th. Day after tomorrow. We can only accommodate 100 people for now. I wish we could be given more because we have the space for more here. But everything will be okay. The church will be sanitized. You don't need to worry. Make sure that you come wearing your mask. This will apply in all our branches. Make sure you have your mask. Even us pastors will be wearing our masks. We will only take the mask out uh, uh, when we are going to preach. But the pastors who are helping when not preaching at that moment will be with their masks throughout. Their assistants will have their masks on. We are Forming today a COVID-19 response committee. So everything is in place. You don't need to worry. We won't have much of the singing and worshiping loudly. Because it will be uncomfortable to do all that with a mask on. We are going to pray. We are going to preach. You will have time to pray as well. Shortly. And the service will finish. Our services will be very quick. So that we can accommodate everyone. That is it for now. We are praying and hoping that as the time goes, we will be allowed to accommodate more people. At least 30% of our capacity. Amen. Praise be to God. Open your Bible, please, in the book of Romans chapter 5. Romans chapter 5. Wata wala wata wala bwana 
Watawala Bilele Watawala Watawala Bwana Watawala Amen. Romans chapter 5. I'm going to read from verse 1. What people need the most is God's grace and peace. Many people in this world have no peace. Peace is the rarest commodity in this world. People make a mistake of thinking that what they need the most is money. Only if I can have a lot of money, I will be happy. That's what many people do. Say. Only if I can be famous and powerful, I will be happy. If that was true, rich people wouldn't be committing suicide. Famous people wouldn't be divorcing and committing suicide. It is just an illusion. What Satan is doing in the eyes of many people is what he tried with Jesus. The Bible says the devil showed Jesus the splendor of the earth. The glory of the world. And you know that to attract the son of God, or God himself, Satan could not use anything dull. I just imagine that it was the best there is. The best of the best. That when Jesus looked, maybe he said, wow. And Satan said, it can be yours. Only if you bow before me and worship me. Jesus rejected that. Jesus said, get away from me, Satan. Because, yes, we need great things. We need beautiful things. We need a blessed life. But not from the devil. Because if you bow before the devil, he will control your life. You are the slave or the servant of the one you obey, the Bible says. So be careful with what you desire. Be careful with what you want, your, your eyes are desiring. Because all that glitters is not gold. Do not deceive yourself. The problem of many people is not lack of money. It's not a sickness that has taken most of their family members. It is not a love life problem. It is not a marriage that is not working. The witchcraft that has devastated their families. The problem of many people is that they don't have the presence of God. They don't have the spirit of God. The Holy Spirit. That is why Christians are defeated. How can a witch defeat a Christian? Does it mean the demons inside of him are stronger than the Spirit of God that is in the Christians? No. The meaning of this is that this one has demons in him and this one doesn't have the spirit of God. That is why the evil one defeats 
the good ones. It is not enough to be righteous. It is not enough to be a good person. We need to have the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God. It is God's DNA. God's genes in us. The Holy Spirit gives us God's characteristics. He incorporates in us God's character. The Bible says here, Romans 5 from verse 1, Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through whom also we have access by faith into this grace in which we stand. And rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only that, but we also glory in tribulations. Knowing that tribulation produces perseverance. And perseverance, character. And character, hope. Now, hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given to us. So, once we receive this Spirit, see here, the Bible doesn't say who will be given to us. The Holy Spirit was already given. The Holy Spirit is already here. Before Jesus died, he said, I will not leave you alone. I will go, but he will come. The Spirit of truth. He will be with you. And in you. So, the Holy Spirit is already here. He's already available. It's just for us to open our hearts for him. He says, I stand at the door, knock. If you open for me, I will enter and dine with you. So, this morning, what you need is to open your heart for the Holy Spirit. Open your heart for Jesus. The Holy Spirit will give you peace. The Holy Spirit will give you strength. You will go through tribulations. You will have challenges. You will have problems. But he will give you power to overcome. For Jesus said you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Allow me me to repeat. The problem of many people is not bad luck. Curses. Misfortunes. Misfortunes. Witchcraft. You name it. Because once you have the spirit of God, all those cannot prevail against you. You will have troubles. But the Holy Spirit will give you strength to overcome them. That is the difference. You will have a lot of headache and heartache and disappointment and betrayals in this world. But in God's presence, you will have peace. Because you know that God is in control. And he never loses control. It is not your religion. It is not your denomination. It is not your pastor. But the presence of God in you that will change your life. That will give you peace. How long will you live a life of tears calling yourself a Christian? How long will you live a life of defeat and unhappiness being a Christian? Seek the spirit of God. Open your heart for him. Once he comes into your life, he will change your life. Sometimes you look at people with beautiful cars. Such a handsome gentleman inside that car. 
with such a beautiful woman it seems like a fairy tale and you look at that and say I wish I could be that guy maybe that guy has no dreams he doesn't sleep at night that beautiful woman next to him is the fourth wife because he has had many divorces his marriages do not last you don't know what is going through all that glitters is not gold seek Jesus in your life seek his presence and you will find peace not only that but also everything else you want in him you will find stand up please close your eyes oh lord our god in the name of the lord Jesus Christ we surrender our lives to you right now because this world is full of painful disappointments, betrayal of trust, and everything that breaks our hearts. Oh my God, I pray that you give your people wisdom today in order to use this information wisely and put your word into practice. There are many people, my God, who have lived a life of unhappiness. They have lived all their lives chasing the wind. Working so hard. Trying to make money. Trying to make life. And they will only discover when they are on their deathbed that they never lived at all. They never enjoyed anything. They wasted their energy in this earth. But the Bible says, my Lord, we have peace in you. Through the grace that we find in you, Lord. That even in tribulations, we rejoice. For we know that you are in control. Oh, Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, come today and fill this person with your presence. This person who has no happiness. This person, my God, who was about to give up. Whatever they do does not go right. They have no peace in their lives. Come Holy Spirit and replace their depression with joy. Replace their sadness with eternal peace, my God. We don't want to rest in peace after we died. We want to have peace now before we die. We want to enjoy the peace that surpasses all understanding. The peace that comes from the Holy Spirit. So come, my Lord, and embrace your people now. Surrender your life to Jesus, my friend. Lift up your hands and give your life to him. Surrender to God with all your heart. Give yourself to him. And say, my God, I surrender to you now. My whole life belongs to you. I have no one else but you, my Lord. Surrender to him. Seek his presence now. It is you and God. Forget about people around you. And seek the presence of God.
Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, may you embrace this person, my God. May you fill them with your presence right now. This person who is seeking you with tears, my Lord. They have no one else to cry out to. Everything they tried has been in vain, has been a complete failure. Only you, my Jesus, can restore this person. Only you can give them peace, my God. This person who has lived all his life in fear. Fear of losing what he has. Fear of losing money, losing the loved ones. He's been living in fear. He has no peace, no joy. Come, Holy Spirit, in this person's life now and give them peace. The peace that surpasses all understanding. Come and give them joy, for it is the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Oh, my Lord, bring salvation to this house. As you did in the house of Zacchaeus, my Lord. You changed the sinner into a man of God. You transformed him when your spirit came upon him. You transformed a murderer like Saul of Tarsus into an apostle, Apostle Paul. When your spirit came, there was a visible transformation. Do the same today, my God, in these people's lives. Receive the Spirit of God, my friend. Okay. The Holy Spirit embraces you right now. He fills you with His presence. He wipes away your tears. He knows the nights you spent with your pillow wet of your tears. And he wants to give you rest. He wants to give you peace. Receive him now. Maybe for the first time in life. Or in a long time. Receive peace. Receive Jesus. Receive him in your life. He stands at the door of your heart knocking. Open your heart and receive him now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. All to Jesus I surrender All to Him I will ever I will ever love and trust in his presence daily
worship the King of Kings. Worship the Lord of Lords. Oh my Lord, we worship and glorify your name. You are our King, our Savior. You are the captain of our soul, my Jesus. All that we are, all that we have, and all that we hope to be, we give to you, my Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We worship you, O King of Kings. We glorify your name, our Father. Without you, we cannot survive. Come, Holy Spirit, and fill our hearts. Come, Holy Spirit, and fill our lives. Take over our lives, O oh, Spirit of the living God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Receive the Spirit of God. Receive the Holy Spirit. Yes, as you surrender to Him, receive His presence. You, as you humbly bow at His feet, receive His presence. For He is here. Oh my God, all to You we surrender. Hallelujah. All to Jesus I surrender. Humbly at His feet I bow. Humbly at His feet I bow. Worldly pleasures. Worldly pleasures. All forsaken. salvation in the lives of your people my God surely salvation has come upon this house today hallelujah may your name be glorified Lord my God for your name's sake save your people fill them with your Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus if you have water there in your house, you decided to be baptized today. So put your knees on the floor. And 
let someone hold this water or you can hold it yourself lift it up i bless this water i consecrate it as the water of baptism for a new life in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit now pour this water on your head once in the name of the father samwaga maji haya jua kichwa chako mwanzo katika jina la baba pour a second drop in the name of the son waga tone la pili kwa jina la mwana pour the last one in the name of the holy spirit waga tone la mwisho katika jina la roho mtakatifu be baptized in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit baptizwa sasa katika jina la baba la mwana na roho mtakatifu in jesus name katika jina la yesu welcome to your new life karibu kwa maisha mapya now you can stand up so as a mama everyone lift up your right hand nyote inweni mkono wenu wakulia may the lord our god keep you and guard you Bwana Mungu wetu akulinde na kuelekeze. May the Lord shine his face upon you and have mercy on you. Na Bwana afanye uso wake onge juu yako na akupe rehema. May the Lord our God give you peace. Bwana Mungu wetu akupe amani. Today, tomorrow and forever. Leo kesho na hata milele. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. Say amen. Sema amina. Praise be to God. Sifa kwa Mungu. Glory be to God. Tukufu kwa Mungu. Salvation has come to your house. Wokovu umekuja nyumbani mwako. Now sasa do not look behind anymore sitazame nyuma tena move ahead songa mbele buy yourself a bible jinunulie biblia in your own language kwa lugha yako read it isome follow in the footsteps of jesus fuata kwenye nyayo za yesu stop chasing money acha kufuata kuandama pesa anything you chase runs away from you chochote unachoandama kitakutoroka that's why you are broke ndio kwa maana una pesa start seeking jesus anza kumtafuta yesu and in him ndani yake you will find everything you will need utapata yote unayohitaji including riches kujumlisha utajiri with peace na amani so you are all blessed now umebarikiwa nyote sasa our next service is going to be 10 o'clock baada yetu nafuata ni saa 4 the altar is free madhabahu iko huru you can come to the altar weza kuja kwa madhabahu present your sacrifice wasilisha dhabihu lako make your prayer fanya ombi lako go to any branch of the universal church enda kwa tawi lolote la kanisa universal The church is still closed but the pastor will open for you to go to the altar. Kanisa bado imefungwa lakini mchungaji atakufungulia uende kwa madhabahu. You pray, present your sacrifice to God. Uombe muwasilishie Mungu dhabihu yako. If you want an envelope of tithe, talk to the pastor is going to give you. Nataka basha ya fungu la 10 ongelesha mchungaji atakupa. Or the envelope of the campaign of the sacrifice. Ama basha campaign ya dhabihu. You can do that. Nzafanya hivyo. You are all blessed now. Umebarikiwa nyote sasa. Koning kwatlio. Nothing. Now Lift up your hand. Nwa mkono wako. Fanya hivi. Do like this. I picture you there at home. I can't see you there at home but I I just imagine you are doing this. Bye bye bishop. God bless you. Mungu akubariki. See you 10 o'clock. Bonane san. Have a good morning. Bwana asubuhi njema. What is the campaign of Israel? It is a campaign of faith based on the word of God, following the example of men and women who in the past obtained answers and changed their lives through sacrificial faith this campaign takes place simultaneously in all universal churches throughout the world from the beginning it has always been inspired to lead people to act their faith to surrender all their body soul and spirit at the altar for whom is the campaign of israel It is for all who believe regardless of their religion who do not accept living a life contrary to what is written in the word of God it is for the discredited excluded disillusioned and for all those who carry within the strong revolt against the problems they face what makes the campaign of Israel the biggest purpose of faith for the transformation of life From the moment we give 100% of our life at the altar we stop trusting in what we have and we start to rely exclusively on the word of God sacrifice materializes our faith surrender and trust in the living God is the reason for so many glorious testimonies and now in July 
you will have the opportunity to express your faith at the altar and take possession of the fulfillment of God's word. However, it is necessary to revolt against everything you are facing and be willing to listen and obey God's voice. Campaign of Faith in the Faith of Gideon. Thank mm -hmm. you. 